Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. And here in the Bible Bistro, we're looking today at verses 23 through 26 in Psalm 136. I hope you've enjoyed this psalm. I sure have. It's an antiphonal psalm written to be spoken in a worship setting. And we have, you know, the one, the first line of each couplet is either for the leader or someone to say. And then the second line of the covenant, uh, couplet is probably for the people to repeat. Of course, it could be the other way around. Either way, it's wonderful. You could probably actually create your own psalm based on this outline, on this on this template. Then just write, for his mercy endures forever is the second line of the couplet, and then put in what you want in the first line, you know, to the one who sent his son to be born of a virgin, for his mercy endures forever. To him who healed the leper, for his mercy endures forever. To him who stilled the raging sea, to, for his mercy endures forever. I mean, you could do something like that and create a lovely uh, psalm for any kind of occasion of what you're preaching on a certain passage of scripture or you have a you know you have a, a holiday coming up a Christmas time or an Easter time or whatever it is you could create something like this I mean it wouldn't be inspired like this is but it would be a lovely passage to actually have in worship you could read the first line the people could read the his mercy endures forever part and it would be a wonderful addition to any service that you wanted to create Today we're looking at 22 through 26, and we continue with the question, what does mercy have to do with, and then our subject today is redemption and care. Who remembered us in our lowest state, for his mercy endureth forever, and hath redeemed us from our enemies, for his mercy endureth forever. Who giveth food to all flesh, for his mercy endureth forever. O oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Four verses that are just absolutely packed with protein and probiotics. This is delicious right here. Again, we have the who remembered. So this is the this is the, you know that phrase, you know, the one who has remembered. There's there's the verb remembered in our lowest state. Now you're going to ask the question. What low estate? When were they in the low estate? Well, I mean, this could be historical. It could be after some defeat or some captivity, such as the Babylonian captivity, or it could refer to the Egyptian captivity. He remembered them in their low estate during their time in Egypt, and the Lord even says so, you know, that he remembered Israel. So that could be a reference to that, or devotionally, just for us, who remembered us in our low estate, Well, ladies and gentlemen, are we not all in a low estate before we come to Christ? And don't we find ourselves in a low estate as we live for Christ? Surely. And so this this applies to the church explicitly. For his mercy endures forever. You see, his mercy enduring forever relates to his remembering. Just as in 24, and hath redeemed us from our enemies. Redemption relates to mercy or mercy to redemption because He has remembered us. He has redeemed us. Both of those things are the act of his mercy. He doesn't do it because of who we are or what we are. He does it because of his great mercy. The Lord is good. Always remember that. That's really behind the scenes, the theme of everything that is said here in this psalm. He gives food to all flesh. Why? Because his mercy endures forever. And then we have that the word that began the psalm, O oh, give thanks, remember that's one word, unto the God of heaven. So we started with unto the God of gods, unto the Lord of lords, and now we end with the God of heaven. He is over everything. It doesn't matter whether you're in covenant with him or not. Ladies and gentlemen, he is in charge of all things. And how is that true? His mercy endures forever. Join me again next week, and we're going to look at Psalm 137. So join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. 
Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.